I'm actually looking for suggestions on how to begin the conversation about drugs and alcohol with my elementary and middle school children. It's often a challenging conversation, and it really does depend on what age your children are at, and I would always suggest that you start these conversations with a question and ask your child what they know and what they've heard. And to have these conversations in short segments and have them often, perhaps the car ride or engaging your child in a game of ping pong where it's relaxed, where the dialogue can flow. Talking should include the impact to adolescent brain development and perhaps athletic performance and training, things that are tangible that the kids can then go back and look up online. A website that I refer parents to, The Cool Spot, that website is geared to young people, say 10 to 13, and they can go on and explore it and learn about facts and health and refusal skills. An important part of what we know in prevention science is not only to be able to convey that as parents you care and you're talking from a point of wellness and health, but also to give young people the strategies to be able to navigate those high-risk situations. I would suggest that you visit websites like the SAMHSA website, Talk They'll Hear You, to develop a comfort level with different vignettes that you might come in contact with with your child and then how you can respond to them. Today, as parents, we need to give our children the opportunity to strengthen the muscle around refusal skills so that they can stand tall and feel comfortable and be able to navigate away from the high-risk decisions that we all know are there. And have those tools in their toolkit so that they're ready to make the decisions that you've outlined as a family that are your expectations and your guidelines so that they can stay safe and healthy.